and thank thanks everyone who gave me eye contact for the, all the best and stuff. Yeah. So let's start. Let's make it not as formal as we could. So yeah. So today I'll be talking about the five elements of giving a speech. This is not going to be me talking and you listening, but it's going to be a two-way of knowledge exchanging. I will talk about that in a minute. Before that, let's look into the introduction. When I was researching, I saw that 75% of the population has the fear of public speaking. And I wanted to be the first one to break this down for the world. But I realized hundreds of people already did it. <laughs> but I am the first one in TGS. So this is gonna be my final presentation through which I'll be hitting my learning targets, which means that for every clap and cheer that I get, I will give you guys Indian rupees. <laughs> Let's go to the next slide, thank you. Everyone, please take up your mobile phone, type in www.menti.com, and type in the code right there, 390326. Por favor, eh, todos, si pueden sacar su teléfono móvil y poner el sitio web menti.com y el código, por favor, para la parte interactiva de su presentación. Thanks guys, all the best for the personal project people. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey. Okay, let's continue. For all the one, everyone who's busy with their personal project, all the best. <laughs> so let's go to the first page. The rules of the presentation. This is gonna be the fuel of your car, which means that research as much as you could learn everything, learn new things continuously. And once you're done with that, go in front of the mirror and present it. Because mirrors are magic. They boost your confidence in a second. They might take some trials, but at the end of the day, it's you who you're presenting to. My mom always says that your heart listens to everything that you say, positive or negative. So always keep your hand on your heart and say, you'll do great. And you will definitely do great. Okay, let's take a try. Everyone put your hands on your heart and say, you'll do great. You'll do great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Step two, stage presence. Believe that your audience are children. That's what I'm doing right now. Because they're here to learn something from you. So walk and talk confidently and present your stance. There's something called the power pose. That means that the way you stand in front of your audience will increase their interest in your topic. Don't hunch back, but stand like, please, next slide. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Don't I look like the Indian version of Wonder Woman? <laughs> So, let's go to the next slide. Feedback session one. Take your mobiles out and please answer these four questions. First question, I'm still with you. Are we engaged? Put that in, rank it. Question two, the president, presenter seems confident. Am I walking and talking confidently, just like what I said? Question three, I understand you. Is my voice okay? Am I clear? Okay, yeah. Question four, the present of body language seems distracting. Thanks guys, 2.5. Thank you. It's all good, I'm trying to improve here. Okay. So let's go to the next slide. Step three, let's voice it up. Voice is one of the most important tools that could change perspective of a lot of people. So find your voice. 
So we're gonna do an activity for this. The Wheel of Destiny. <laughs> Josh, can you hear? Help me out here. Okay, I don't know if they spin it. Do you want to spin it again? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, spin. Help your present better. Let's go to the fourth one. Delivery. Don't talk very fast because people wouldn't understand what you're saying and they will lose their concentration. Or don't talk very slow. It is boring. <laughs> Take your time and present your studs. Relate your topic to the audience on why they need to know this and how it's going to help them. So let's go to slide five, but I really don't want to do slide five because from the feedback that you gave me in the first thing, I feel like a lot of people are going to put the breast in this body language is good to the highest point, but yeah, hit it up, feedback two. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> All good. So step five. I'm gonna reveal a secret that I don't wanna do. But, I don't know. Each and every person in this room, my educators and students have asked me this question. Why do I make calls to my parents every five minutes? <laughs> and I'm actually gonna reveal you the answer. It's because they're the only person in the entire world who can listen to me reflecting my entire day. Starting from when I got up, what I had, and when I'm gonna sleep. So yeah, step five is reflection. Reflect on what you learned, what you did right, how can you grow, and what can you grow at. Yeah, I feel so much like a TGS student when I say reflection. But yes, <laughs> step five is reflecting. Because at the end of the day, all of us are here to share our knowledge, to grow as a person and as a family. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot to Lexi, Matt, Wolf, Josh, and then Eh, muchísimas gracias a Madhu. Eh, bueno, su presentación se basó en qué son los cinco elementos de un discurso, entonces cómo dar un discurso y ser exitoso. 
Entonces, para serles honestos, no me acuerdo todos, pero eh, la reflexión, eh, me acuerdo también la voz. Y, pero bueno, estuvo muy, muy, muy buena la presentación y nos encantó a todos. Así que muchísimas gracias, Amado. Eh, tendré que ver esa presentación otra vez para la próxima vez que está acá arriba. Eh, la siguiente presentación es para el segundo módulo eh, dirigido por los educadores y es, en mi opinión, el mejor módulo. Se llama Engineering Expressions y quisiéramos que Jane y Marifer suban al escenario, por favor. Jane and Marifer, everyone. 